it's time for a little hindsight is 2020 on Timur. What can I say? Perhaps a small number of everyone who has watched all these videos on Timur will actually say, oh, wow, I've got to go there. The rest of you, I hope, will say, that is so interesting. She saw so many interesting things, but Timur is never going to be on my to-do list. Steve and I fall into the category of, let's say, not people with a travel bug, but people who are addicted to travel experiences. And this is why you bear all the discomfort, primarily road discomfort, that's the big deal, to come to a place like Timor. Just a word about the roads, as I told you earlier, they are just terrible. They're, Timor is a very hilly island, and you will ride for hours over like this, S, 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 S hour after hour after hour on almost non-existent roads. Very difficult. As a matter of fact, the two of us have what I refer to as, you know how when you're at sea for a long time and you get your sea legs and come to land? Well, we have, we've got car legs. Everything is still moving underneath us every time we get out of the car. If you're not able to relieve yourself along a road, behind a bush, a tree, or some grass, don't even think about coming to some of these remote areas because you are not going to find a toilet. And unless your bladder uh, will hold 15 hours or so on exaggerating <laughs> of urine, you have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. You also have to keep in mind that Timor underwent close to 25 years of warfare between the different people, and that's not counting all the conflicts between the different tribes, resulting eventually in the creation of Timor Leste, which is East Timor. It's no wonder that the infrastructure is still very minimal, and just like in Sumba, approximately four to 5,000 Westerners visit a year. As a matter of fact, in the village that we went to, Guide Martin's village, we were the first Americans since 1962. Don't worry about the food in Timor. We had some wonderful experiences in Timor. Saw and learned a lot. But the most important thing about Timor and other remote places that we travel is the people. You cannot ask for friendlier, nicer people than the Indonesians who live on this small island. Everybody wants to greet you, not for something, but just to acquaint themselves with you and perhaps learn a little bit about you as we learn about them. This is a place for travelers who have the burning desire to visit the roads less traveled, to visit cultures and people who, to whom you are unique and most welcome. I do hope you enjoyed the videos and learned a little as we did or learned a lot, as we did, about their culture and different areas of Timor. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed them, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Terima kasih.